Good afternoon. I'm going to be discussing, uh, I'm going to be talking briefly on the OES product presentation. And it's going to come in two modes. I'm going to do a presentation first, and I'm going to go to the detailed uh, live presentation of the products. Okay, so um, OES is a, uh, it's an online education system, and uh, what we're targeting on is content digitalization for teachers. And so if you look at all these teachers, I mean, you can see that some of them are dead, but can we go ahead with their content? No, because they have not really showcased. Most of the teachers don't actually keep their content in. And that's one of the reasons behind this proposal to, uh, to the massacre. And so if you look at this, uh, other three parts, some of them we can see their content on the YouTube, but most of the teachers that we have here, how do they teach? How have they taught? Why, what makes them unique? What makes them unique out of all the other teachers? And so that's one of the reasons, and that's one of the things that OES, try, OES is trying to solve in our community, as well as uh, solving the problem of poverty you know, in, amongst our teachers. So these are the, uh, these, are the, uh, <clears throat> these are the goals that we're trying to achieve, retention of teachers' knowledge, uh, content access, and so forth and so on, inadequate take home by teachers, you know, of inadequate facilities to support students in a blended classroom. You know, these are the things that we are trying to achieve. So, um, also these are the benefits. If you look at, if you look down, you can see the benefit cuts across the learners, the lecturers, or the teachers, or the government. Uh, these are the, uh, the, these are the benefits, which I think we are, I'm trying to showcase in here. Um, so, but I want to just uh, focus more on the data content life cycle. Um, we are adopting a, a Bloom's taxonomy to create content as a lecture note. After the lecture note has been created, we digitize it. After it has been digitized, we upload it online uh, by creating video content like the way we are just trying to create. And we convert it to a classroom, I mean, content by uploading it on our LMS, and it, which is available for learners to pick up and also for the uh, facilitators, which are the teachers, to also earn from, you know. And this is the whole uh, methodology that we are that we are talking about, you can see it right here. Um, after it has been, the video has been created, we also extend it to adopting uh, AR. I mean, we can actually capture it on the target image or, 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 or about that particular uh, domain that we are talking about, about that particular subject that we are talking about. Uh, or we rather use the mixed reality classes. Uh, so uh, you can see. Uh, as we say. So this is the way we create content. We adopt the taxonomy. Uh, we adopt, adopt the taxonomy in creating our content. And um, this is when we, uh, I mean, what I mean by Bloom's taxonomy in creating our content. Uh, so, so then the next thing is to move it to OES components. Uh, compartment, you know, and these are all the things you get in OES performance management system, stakeholder association management, students, and enterprise resource uh, planning. And I'll showcase this in a nutshell. So after we're done with that, this is OES, uh, OES uh, login interface. This is uh, the dashboard. Um, this is the scheme of work. We can actually customize any scheme of work on it. This is for university, but we can actually go for you know, a secondary and basic school, you know. Um, this is the lecture, this is like a subject, and these are the modules, and these are the modules in which teachers are taking, and this is where you upload all the lectures, and after you're done with that, uh, we review what the lecture, I mean, lecturer has already, already uploaded in here, and this is where the student can come and pick their lectures. This is it, yeah, right here. Um, this is our AR interface, uh, this is where this is actually used for our practicals, uh, so that students can actually pick this uh, practical wise uh, remotely, and that is it.